Good afternoon to you, Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for Monday, June 23rd, 2014. Let's take a look at starting uh, with the Atlantic and Pacific sea surface temperature anomalies, the departures from normal. I think the one thing that jumps out at you is this warm pool right here in the eastern Pacific. Notice that it's eroding away out here in the central Pacific. The El Nino not having as much of a, uh, a time making inroads uh, as of late. And in the Atlantic Basin, starting to fill in the deep tropics just a little bit with some positive anomalies, a pretty large area of positive anomalies uh, in the subtropical Atlantic and especially right off the southeast and east coast. Now one thing I want to show you, I want to compare this to 2008. And you'll notice a big difference here. In 08, we had this horseshoe-shaped pattern of very cold water in the Pacific, part of the cold Pacific decadal oscillation. But we also had this warm area off of South America, not quite as pronounced, obviously, as it is now. But look at the similarities to the Atlantic in 2008. So here's what it looks like today, and here's what it looks like and did look like in 2008. Not so bad in the deep tropics, really, really warm up in the subtropics, kind of cold in the Caribbean, and then it was a very warm Gulf of Mexico that year. So comparing it to this year, what do we have? Not so bad in the deep tropics, fairly warm up here in the subtropics, and very warm in the western Atlantic parts of the Gulf, and a cool Caribbean. Nothing's ever going to be a perfect match, but I just think that it's interesting that the two years look somewhat similar except for the obvious glaring difference here with this cold PDO pattern in the Pacific. But we did have this warm spike sticking out from South America, similar to what we have this year, except, of course, the spike that we see this year is a lot warmer. So we'll see. The El Nino is uh, not really doing so well. And here is some more evidence of that. This is the latest. Uh, they update this every week or so. This is the average centered on June 17th. And notice up here, this is the surface uh, of the ocean up at the top. And then you go down several hundred meters on uh, this side. Uh, what is that, about 450 meters or so? Western Pacific over here, Eastern Pacific over on the right-hand side. And this is the warm water that you see right here. That right there at the surface is what we are looking at at the subsurface here. And notice how this is shrinking away, and all of this colder water at the depths still chiseling away at this. The El Nino may not ever even get declared at this point. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? We just kind of go into the heart of the hurricane season with what we call warm, neutral conditions. I mean, look at this, folks. All this basically right at neutral to just a little bit above normal. The only strong positive anomalies are in the eastern Pacific. There are no more large areas of this warm water coming in from the west. So I think the El Nino is not going to be that much of an issue. And then we'll have to see what happens with the Atlantic. Does this warm abnormally, uh, abnormally as an anomaly uh, once we get into August, September, October? So interesting times ahead. Right now, the only area to really talk about in the tropics is in the eastern Pacific, right off the coast of Mexico, an area of medium chance for development, but it's only 30% chance. Looking at a satellite picture of that region, this is the area of low pressure just off the coast of Mexico, bringing some rain showers to the area, but that's about it. Very little chance of development. In the Atlantic Basin, things nice and quiet. A little bit more convective activity blowing up here, down around Costa Rica and Panama, off the northwest coast of Colombia. Um, this will probably drift off to the west. There are no tropical waves of any note in the Atlantic. Pretty dry intertropical convergence zone, so nothing to worry about developing in the Atlantic for the week ahead. And the area in the Pacific probably won't do much either. The Hurricane Center indicating that it'll run into less favorable conditions over the next few days. All right, that's it from me for today. You are now up to date on the tropics for the week ahead. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth for HurricaneTrack.com. Always an honor and a privilege to produce these videos for you to enjoy and hopefully learn something on Hurricane Pro and HD. 
I'll talk to you next week.